Guys, November is almost here, so today I'm bringing you another Preptober and NaNoWriMo tip by telling you all about my Harry Potter themed NaNoWriMo cabin and how a little friendly Hogwarts house competition could help you win NaNoWriMo this year. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Brittany Wang. I'm an author of an upcoming YA fairy fantasy series. And on this channel, we discuss author platforms as well as writing and writing community tips. So if that sounds good to you, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. If you've been around my channel lately though, you know we're knee deep in Preptober, gearing up for NaNoWriMo 2018. And while earlier this month, I shared with you how I use my series Bible to do all my novel planning, today I'm going to share with you how how you can easily find all the support you'll need to write those 50,000 words and make a bunch of great writing friends along the way. Believe me, I've tried to do nano on my own in years past and I've never made it to 50K. But when I did Camp Nano this summer with a bunch of writing friends that were in the trenches with me and cheering me on, I not only met but surpassed my word count goal. Now, while the Camp NaNoWriMo site always offers these great group cabins for this purpose, it seems like the official NaNoWriMo site doesn't offer cabins. And so me and my Plotter Life writers Facebook group wanted to fix that and add some Harry Potter fun. So we are calling this the NaNoWriMo House Cup. Basically, in our Facebook group, we will be hosting a thread that will act like a NaNoWriMo cabin chat room. Within that thread, each member will first join a Hogwarts house. So Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, or Ravenclaw. And since there are four of them, my Plotter Life team leaders are going to be acting as the professors for each house. And since I'm the founder of the group, I'm going to be Dumbledore. Let me know in the comments which Hogwarts house you would choose while I tell you a little bit more about how this competition is going to work. During the month of November, each house will compete by reporting their weekly word counts in the thread. And the house with the largest average amount of words by the end of the month will win our house cup. We'll also obviously be cheering each other on in the thread and sharing our struggles and our tips. And during this month of October, we're also hosting weekly Preptober chats to help you get all set and ready to hit the ground running come November. November 1st. All you have to do to get in on the fun is to join the Facebook group, which will be linked in the description below. And I'm going to let one of my amazing Plotter Life team members, Natalie, tell you the rest. Hello, writers. I'm Natalie. I'm part of the Plotter Life team that helps Brittany to organize and brainstorm all of the events that we have in this group. And as mentioned last night in the live chat, this month we're going to be hosting the NaNoWriMo House Cup. And we are so excited about this. I hope that you guys are as well. And I'm going to be in charge of all the practical things that surrounds this. So in this video, I'm just quickly running through how it'll work and how you can be part of it. So basically, we're going to be tracking the average house member's journey or progress throughout NaNoWriMo. So if we have two house members, for example, and one of them writes 2,000 words and one of them writes 4,000 words, we'll have an average that wrote 3,000 words. And that is what we are actually looking at. And writing is the only thing that you can do <laughs> to get points for your house, because that's the only thing you should be doing in November. And since November starts on a Wednesday, every Wednesday of the month, I'm gonna make a post where you can report your word count for the past week. And then on the Friday, I'm gonna post a graphic of the progress in the competition so far. And the winning house will get to fly their colors on the group photo of this community for the rest of the year. As well as awesome bragging rights, obviously. But since we are looking at the average house member, we need to know how many people are going to be in the cup, so you need to sign up. So if you want to do that, just quickly comment on this video with your Hogwarts house and the fact that you want to participate, and I will sign you up, and it's that easy. You can sign up all throughout October, but once Nano kicks off, it'll be too late to join. So make sure to sign up as soon as you know that you want to be part of it, so you don't miss out. Now. If you don't know your Hogwarts house, you need to find out. So I would recommend go to Pottermore.com. It's the official test by JK Rowling herself. And it's very accurate. I've done it like five times. I'm always a Hufflepuff. And it's also just a lot of fun. I'm kind of a personality test junkie, so. But if you don't want to make an account, there's literally thousands of tests on the internet. So if you just Google it, you'll have options. And if you're unsure if you've been sorted right, I've been where you are and I'd recommend just doing the test again and again and again and if you're still in the same house, well, accept it, embrace it and make it your weapon. Also, if you're some kind of hybrid between two houses, three, four, what do I know? I'm sorry to say you're gonna have to choose, okay? I know I might be putting you in like an identity crisis here but guys, there can only be one. 
We have also picked out an official house emoji for each of the houses. So throughout October and November, as you comment on posts, you can use that to just quickly find your house members, some healthy competition maybe, and yeah, just for fun. You can also just write out your house, whatever you fancy, and those are gonna be above my head somewhere in the post, so check that out. And I think that's it, so we are so excited about this. I hope that you guys are too, and if you are, feel free to share this event, because the more the merrier. And there are some graphics that you can use to put on your socials if you want to. I'll post those as well in the group. And the official hashtag for this event is gonna be Nano House Cup. So yeah, you can use that as much as you want. And if you have any questions, just drop them below. We will do our best to clear things up. But as I said, there's going to be more information coming as well as November closes in. And yeah, until then, get excited, sharpen your pencils, and let the best word wizards win. If you think this event sounds awesome, help us spread the word by giving this video a like, share it on your socials with the hashtag NanoHouseCup, and we'll see you in the group. Or at the very least, I hope you choose to gather a couple of great writing friends together to encourage each other while you try to tackle this massive challenge. That's my Preptober tip for you today, and as always, until next week, happy writing.